All new tonight, the ongoing controversies surrounding plans for Atlanta's so-called Cop City Police Training Facility. Well, Atlanta's Mayor Andre Dickens once again is insisting that the training center will be built at that site in DeKalb County, and that's where we're going to begin. Here's the 11 Alive's John Shirk with these new developments tonight. Outside Atlanta City Hall, a public show of support for Mayor Andre Dickens. Dozens of community leaders backing him and backing his controversial plans for the so-called Cop City Public Safety Training Center. The Atlanta Public Safety Training Center is moving forward because we need it. Kamal Franklin with Community Movement Builders watched the event shaking his head. I think Mayor Dickens is running scared and the fact that they have to call out basically the Atlanta elite to come out and defend this center speaks volumes of the fact that no one wants this center built. But Andrew Young told me after the rally that when he was Atlanta mayor back in the 1980s, he supported building Georgia 400 inside the perimeter despite popular opposition because it was the right thing to do. And that everyone agrees now the highway was and is needed. Same, he says, with the police training center and Atlanta's leaders now. We're going to be out front. And that means we're going to be cussed out and blamed until it works. Mayor Dickens defending in this public setting the private meeting of his new community task force on the project, saying that the task force members want to be shielded from controversy and threats. Kamal Franklin says put the project to a public vote once and for all. At this stage, you know, I think what we really need is a citywide referendum. We need the people to decide whether or not this monstrosity gets built or not. And then that will put this matter to bed. As it is, the mayor's task force on the project, which will report back to him in August, is only looking at some of the project's details, not on whether or where it should be built. The two main concerns of opponents, who the mayor insists do not represent majority opinion. At Atlanta City Hall, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.